Um, right now, I only have one beer that I can manage to put down. Um, there are three in the fridge that are caramel apple beers. Even I can't drink those. I'm waiting for Dana to go to Wegmans so I can get some more beer. But she's dicking around. And the Bills game starts in an hour and a half. It's approaching 12 o'clock. I'm really nursing this beer, but it's actually almost starting to taste good. So, uh, we'll see. And hopefully I can manage it. It's about, about 12 o'clock. Still no movement up there. She hasn't showered. I don't know what's going to happen here. She needs to go shopping. And if I don't have beer, like normal tasting beer, by 1 o'clock, I don't know what's going to happen. So, she just got in the shower. So that means, that means like 45 minutes until she actually leaves the house to go shopping to get beer. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to drink those caramel apple beers. <sighs> this is the beer of shame area. Any kind of fruity beer goes here. Um, that's some leftover shock top. Um, I brought that out because it was taking up room in the fridge. Ugh. So that's where that goes. So last week I bought like a 12 pack of seasonal beers. Which is good, because I like some Oktoberfest. But, it came with three of these. The Caramel Apple Spiced Ale. I haven't tried it, but I am 99% sure it's going to be completely just terrible. And I haven't relegated it out to the Beer of Shame wall, because, as you can tell, I'm running low on beer. And I don't have enough time to really leave the house to get some. Dana's supposed to be getting me beer. So uh, we'll have to see. I'm getting there on this one. This is pumpkin. It's not my favorite. I used to like pumpkin beer, but now I kind of don't like it as much anymore. So that's what I got. It's killing me. Yeah. Saw that last night. What a pile of shit that was. Oh my god. That's a whole other story. Hello darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted About another 50 minutes or so till kickoff um, So I'm probably going to have to go in and have the apple beers, see how that goes. Um, we'll see. It's going to be pretty disgusting. My good thing, mm, I can still taste it right here. So, it's kind of the nice thing. So, maybe I could have some water and then just, oh, hey, there's beer now. It's not the same, but whatever. <laughs> oh, pumpkin. Here goes. Caramel apple spice ale. Going in with an open mind, but I'm being realistic. It's surprisingly not as bad as a pumpkin, but I'm almost done with this first one. It's hurting. Dana's out of the shower. She's going over the list, Santa Claus style. Hopefully she checks it twice and makes sure she gets the right beer because we don't want that to get messed up. <laughs> I'm going to smash her face with this beer bottle. Kill her. Ugh. It's going to be that Red's Apple stuff. The worst thing ever. I never, yeah. It's like the cinnamon. And now every time I walk by that cinnamon thing in the mudroom, what do I think about this beer? 
I'm withering away right now. This might be the last Daryl diary you ever see. Threatening me won't help out. <laughs> I bet it will. Yeah, sure, I'll go out there if it's during a commercial break. If it's a commercial break, I will go out and get the beer. That's the whole point. Well, the beer's staying out there until the commercial break, though. Make sure it's cold. Oh, it's so cold. I just... I need a beer that doesn't have fruit or pumpkin in it or any kind of weird spice as a regular beer. God, I wonder if this is how Gandhi felt. Alright, took a shower, killed some time, got the Bills, you know, sweatshirt on. Didn't have it on last week, which is why they lost. Um, Dana called me, she forgot her wallet, so we are, we are really pushing it here. It's, it's not looking good. I might have to crack open a second one of these caramel apple spiced blue moons. <sighs> oh, <clears throat> I had to open up a second one. It's about, uh, we have about 10 minutes to one. It's crunch time. Five minutes to one. Still not here. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Might have to go for the third beer, which could be absolutely terrible. I still got a decent amount left in this one. I've really been nursing it. I uh, trying to do a couple other things around the house. It is 70, like five degrees outside in Buffalo. So of course I'm gonna spend it sitting inside watching them play, and you know. Keeping it close, probably losing, but whatever. Um, still waiting for Dana to get home. It is pretty much 1 o'clock. Kickoff will start here in a second. That's right. Not only do I not have my beer, I had to sit through Gene Simmons singing that shit. God. That's the worst. There it is. Two apples, spice, and a pumpkin. Drinking the last apple spice now. This is it. The solid beer I got left. I'm getting desperate. It's about 10 after 1. So uh, hopefully we get some beer here soon. Because uh, I don't know if I can handle watching this game without it. There it is. Get a life. What? <laughs> you lucked out. The Bills just got a field goal. So, right now is a commercial break, so I can help you out. All right, here we go. We got like the good beer I wanted. A little IPA, Southern Tier. I like that. But I also requested the chugging beer, because this is, this is what I drink at the 4 o'clock game, up until midnight, and up until I wake up when Sports Center's on real loud. So, now we're all set, no fruitiness. And this has been episode one of the Daryl Diaries. Hey, happy Daryl now. IPA. Mm. And the Bills are still winning. Not too bad of a day. Although, we got to watch the Eagles and Broncos. How many Peyton Manning games do we have to watch? I've watched every Peyton Manning game. So maybe it isn't the greatest day ever. No, I like the Broncos, but Peyton Manning again. It's like two Thursday night games, a Sunday night game, yesterday or last week's late game, right? Well, at least I got good beer. <laughs>